What's up, nerds? Today, we're going to be unboxing some sweet dumbbells. The coronavirus is making us all fat. And I haven't worked out in like two weeks. So today, I bit the bullet, broke my teeth, and I got some power blocks. So we're gonna be doing an unboxing here. I'm gonna step back for a second. Boom. Yeah. We're gonna to have to keep the box intact because I might sell them and get the get the pros. These are the sport. They're about a uh, hundred bucks, hundred and fifty bucks Canadian cheaper. And here we go. There it is. Oh yeah. Already, I cheated. I already have another set right here. I opened this one. And let's clean up, let's clean up the studio. Get it out of here. That's better. Better. Yeah, so these power blocks go from five. 10 all the way to 50 pounds. They're really nice. They're not the best that that um, power block has, but it's pretty good. I like them. I still want the, um, what do you call it, the pro so because I do like the best. So I might end up selling these bad boys. So just for those of you who don't know, this is how it works. We have this prong right here select the weight that you want to use by inserting it into the designated slots so if you want just this is just um, this is 10 pounds right here that's very light 10 pounds oh you can you can check it out you can go up 30, boom, oh man, suck at this, 30, boom, 40, boom, oh, oh, oh man, Christmas came early, I can make games again, listen, Coronavirus is a serious thing. Sadness is also a serious thing. And exercise is a serious thing to cure both. Sadly, I haven't been exercising. It feels like crap. Oh. Let's take a closer look here. So these are the these are the um, the sport, and the only reason that I would upgrade to the pro is because they're very clanky. You hear that? When you curl, you're gonna hear, which is not a big deal, right? But there's some loose, there's some things in there that are a little shaky. It's uh, it's it's wobbling around in there. And it, it's not soft. Like, I don't want to put this on the floor. It'll scrape the floor, right? If it had some kind of a, a tiny bit of a different finish, that would be amazing. But all in all, this is a very comfortable set of dumbbells. I much prefer this than, let's say, the Bullflex or one of those other competitors. Check it out. One of the good things about this is if you're sitting on a bench, I'm probably going to get a bench um, soon here. But if you're sitting on a bench, you can rest it on your legs, no problem. Very comfortable. See that? If you're going to kick off, 
I'll show you how you would kick off. You kick off. Oh. No problem. So these are very, very good, very beautiful. They're, um, the other thing I forgot to mention was it goes up in increments of five, but if you're gonna go up in increments of five, it's gonna be very slow because how it works is works is there's a little lever right there and if you push this down what it's going to do is it's going to release on um, that thing right there and it's going to cause two weights to slide out those weights together I believe is five pounds so I guess now it's ten pounds that's 10 pounds, I guess. So now it's going to be 15 pounds to put these back in. And I don't see myself using these weights a lot. These, for me, it's too much of a hassle. I'm probably just going to keep these in there and do a workout in increments of 10. So the other thing about this is that I'm scared that I'm going to forget to put that back down. And then if I'm going to do something like this, Right, the weights are just gonna come out. So I don't wanna be messing around with those five pounds too much. I, I don't wanna do it. It's too risky for me. The, um, the other thing about this set of dumbbells is um, it's, it, it feels very premium, but I really want to see what the pros are going to look like and feel like because these ones, they're good enough. You know what? I have a problem. I, I, I like nice things. If I'm going to spend money on something that's already a lot of money, I, I, I like to spend the extra 100 bucks or 150 bucks to get something that's a little bit more durable and better to look at, you know? But I'm very happy with this. I'm going to sell them because right now with the coronavirus, there is a, a lot of demand from dumbbells. So I'm gonna see if I can put this back up. Maybe I'll sell it in a month and by then, the pros will be in stock because I didn't get the pros today because they weren't in stock. But anyway, that's all I have for this video. Actually, wait, let's do a quick set of curls here. See what it's gonna look like. The other thing to look out for is you have to be very careful how you put these things in. For me, there's this, it's connected by this elastic. And sometimes I go like this and it's taut. Sometimes I will put it in wrong. So I'll do one notch higher or lower and that's not good. So you have to make sure, take it a second to make sure that it's in the right spot. So right now I'm going for 30s. Boom, it's at 30, right? That's very heavy, wow. Very, very heavy. So I pretend I'm sitting in a bench. And this is 20. And this is my baby girl. Very solid pair of dumbbells. I'm happy with it.